In this video, we will change the default uh, branding of the uh, Awingo environment to a uh, custom uh, branding. So uh, to do that, again, I have to log in as an, as an administrator, go to the system settings and go to configure uh, branding. Uh, as said before in previous videos, everything on the left side can be changed per tenant. So also the branding can be customized on a, on a per tenant uh, basis. Um, first things I can change are the, the colors. So uh, by default, both the primary color and the secondary color are set to uh, two shades of, uh, of blue, of the blue used in the uh, Awingu logo. So if I want to change the, the primary color from uh, blue, for example, to uh, greenish, I can just uh, go in, uh, in here and change the color. Uh, for people who have like uh, custom colors in their company, you can also use the uh, RGB color code uh, uh, if, you, if you know that. So just going to change the primary color to, uh, to green. And then I'm going to change the secondary color to something more uh, light, uh, light blue, light, uh, light gray, like, uh, like this. So uh, by just changing the colors, if I refresh the uh, Awingu interface, you will see that uh, my, uh, my background color has uh, switched to, um, to green and my uh, letters have uh, become a little bit more um, grayish uh, in, uh, in here. Uh, second thing I can change is the, the, the background itself. So now it's still the, the polygon uh, themed uh, style. We can also put that uh, plain color if, uh, if wanted. So uh, uh, by doing so, we, we can also make it uh, more, uh, more like this. Uh, let me just put it back uh, to polygon. Uh, okay, and then there are two logos we can change. There is the what we call the Awingu white logo. So this is uh, what you can see over here. And if you make the, the sidebar uh, uh, smaller, uh, there is the, the square logo. The square logo is also used over here as, a, as the FAF icon in, uh, in, the, in the web browser. So if I want to change those two logos, I can do that also in the, in the system setting. So uh, instead of using the Awingu logo, I can use a custom logo. So let's uh, pick a custom logo. Um, my logos should be in here. So let's uh, use this uh, Avenger logo. Okay. Um, as you can see, the, 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 the logos cannot be bigger than 100 kilobytes. So I have to use a smaller image. I have to use this one. So this should be fine. And then um, for the square logo, I can do the same thing. Not use a custom logo, but uh, not, not use the, the polygon as a logo, but the uh, custom logo, and then again, uh, pick one of my uh, images. Uh, here it's important that it's uh, a square logo, so the, the height and the width of the, of the file need to be uh, exactly the same. So if I refresh the page, uh, you see I have uh, the Avenger logo over there. If I make it smaller, I have the uh, square logo. And then the, the last thing in the branding we can change is the login page. So I can uh, change the login page from the, the default uh, screen to a custom image. Uh, there are two images you can upload. There is an image that you can upload for, um, for uh, devices with a landscape uh, screen. So like, for example, my, my laptop. Um, uh, but if you would have like a tablet where the, the ratio horizontal vertical is, is opposite, uh, you can also upload a custom uh, tablet uh, screen. So in my case, I'm just going to upload uh, an, a normal one, so a, a landscape one. So let me just uh, pick this one, open, uh, click on... Uh, apply, have a custom image, and then I can change the, the text. So uh, um, need uh, help, please uh, log your ticket at https uh, myawingu.com uh, or something like, uh, like this. Click on uh, apply. So as you can see, if I now log out, um, um, uh, I have uh, the, the grayish color. It's maybe a little bit very light in, in this case, but uh, I have the, the, custom, uh, the custom colors. I have the schema. I have, uh, if you need help, uh, please log in and everything has been uh, branded.